For the next 72 hours, I'm gonna work like a MAPPA animator. This means 12 hour shifts and a crazy deadline of only three days to make a highly complex animation. Let's hope I can finish this in time and not burn out. I actually woke up at seven to be able to make myself some breakfast to get the day started well. My shifts are gonna be from 9 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. So eating a nice, nutritious breakfast was gonna be very important. After breakfast, I took a little morning walk to warm me up for the torture that lied ahead. Then the second the clock hit nine, I got to work. My first task was to plan out what I was gonna make. And since it needs to be MAPPA related, I'll be animating a little showdown between Gojo and Sukuna. Not too long after I started drawing, I began to feel terrible, presumably from my lack of quality sleep. I'm three hours in and I just finished the storyboard. Man, I'm exhausted. I feel like I could faint at any moment. And I still have about nine hours left, which really does not make me feel any better. I can't lie. However, I kept on pushing forward as there is a lot more that has yet to come. This is the plan for the project. The first cut is gonna show Sukuna on the ground, looking up at Gojo, who is standing on a huge rock. There's also wind blowing in the environment to add some drama. The second cut is a shot of Sukuna's face. He's gonna transition from a serious expression to an evil smile, and the wind is still blowing on him. Pause. Cut three features a close-up of Gojo's face. The camera slowly zooms in as he blinks and hair blows in the wind. Cut four will show fire igniting from Sukuna's hand. Then in cut five, Sukuna is gonna raise his hands to start charging up for an attack. Cut six has a crazy camera zoom and rotation shot up to Gojo, revealing that he's charging up his purple attack. In cut seven, Sukuna is gonna pop up his head and then raise his hand with fire. Next, in cut eight, Sukuna's fire arrow attack will be revealed with the camera moving away from his face. In cut nine, Sukuna will charge up the fire arrow attack before quickly releasing it with a ton of force. And in the final cut, the camera will zoom out to show both of the attacks colliding with each other. All of this has to be done in only three days. Mappa animators have to deal with stuff like this all the time and under a lot more pressure than me. So I'm only getting a little taste of what they have to go through on the daily. Given the background heavy scenes, I thought it would be a good idea to use quite a bit of CGI to save me some time and a lot of headaches. So I spent a significant amount of time on Blender making the environment where the characters reside. Only for me to learn a very harsh truth. I fucking suck at Blender. I can't lie, I just wasted so much time trying to figure out the CGI background. It looks horrible. I'm breaking my head over this. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just gonna do this in 2D. Sometimes things just don't go the way you want them to. So I skip cut one for now since it relies on a background to do the animating. My plan is to tackle all of the Sukuna shots first and then move on to the Gojo shots. I then started with cut two. I drew all of the static elements first. Then I animated his mouth transitioning from serious to an evil smile with proper spacing, making the animation look super smooth. All right, now it's time for my little break. I got myself some Panera bread. I'm about to feast. You already know. And I'm kind of sad because I'm kind of cooking right now. But you know what I'm saying? We'll get it back once I continue. I couldn't find anything on what MAPPA animators typically eat. So for this video, I'll be eating fast food in my 15 to 30 minute break each day since I assume they don't have much time to prep a nice home cooked meal most days. I'm not a lie. I don't even care about my mess up no more. This life is looking good right now. This is amazing. Next, I worked on animating the hair and the clothing. I'm not too proud of how this part of the cut looks, but I really don't have the luxury to make everything to my standards if it wasn't obvious already. I tried to match the colors as closely as possible to the show, and I think I did a good job with that. I'm also keeping the shading to a minimum to stay consistent with the look of season two. As you can see, I have a little over four hours left in the first day, and I've only completed one animation cut. So let's see if I'm able to pull it off. Cut four was next. Hands. Lord help me. I'm just kidding. I'm not scared of drawing hands. Everything was coming along very nicely up until making the in-betweens of the fingers. I was having some pretty bad inconsistencies with the thickness of each finger, which caused me a lot of problems and led me to spend a significant amount of time trying to fix that. I then animated the fire coming out of his hand, which was done in straight ahead and it was such a nice therapeutic moment in the day for me. I honestly thought it came out pretty cool. Again, I tried matching the colors of the fire to the fire fire arrow scene in the anime. I noticed there was some pink in the fire in the anime, which I think looks beautiful, so I made sure to implement that into my own animation as much as I could. Then I got to work on cut 5, which is similar to cut 2 for the most part. I drew Sukuna and yet again animated the hair and clothes waving. Then I sketched out Sukuna's hand coming up, which looked really cool, I can't lie. Before being able to finish this cut, the clock hit 9pm, meaning it was the end of the first day. I did it. I did it. Look at that. It's nine. It is nine. After the day ended, I took a nice hot shower and went to sleep shortly after. And after a long day of work, I should get some really good sleep, right? No, not really. It's all right, I guess. I'm getting myself some morning sun for my circadian rhythm. 7.43, I'm about to eat my breakfast and then I'm about to go for my morning walk and get back to work. This is truly a beautiful day. Today, I'm going to have this 
Jimmy Dean sandwich and some Celsius and that's about it because um, I'm not trying to cook today. I'm trying to get right to work as fast as I can. Now this right here, this is epic. Day two, gonna be animating for the next 12 hours. I'm gonna try to get as much done, try to finish most of the Sukuna shots. I mean, I, I kind of have to finish them all today. It's time to go to work and it's time to work hard. Oh. I continued right where I left off. I cleaned up the animation of the hand, colored it, shaded it in, and animated the fire. I then moved on to cut seven and cut eight. I stuck both of these together in the same animation timeline since they're kind of connected. The thing about animating close up faces is you need to be able to draw them consistently because even if a tiny thing is off, it'll end up looking like a totally different character so what i ended up doing was tracing the previous onion skin of sukuna's face and then placing it wherever i wanted it to go thank god for digital art i also made sure the hair animation follows the movement of his head so that it flows more naturally animating the camera movement for cut 8 turned out to be pretty hard to do especially getting the foreshortening to look right i then animated the hand coming in which is going to be completed once i add the fire to it i envisioned this cut being a lot smoother but obviously with the time crunch my vision for the sequence wasn't going to be fully realized i think the worst part about this entire thing is how it could be relatively late but then you start thinking about it and you're like hold on i still have another six hours of animating like this is, doesn't end but on the bright side i got myself some chick-fil-a you already know got myself a yogurt with some fruit and some cookie crumbs and i got myself a spicy chicken sandwich we're about a feast next i started animating the fire on both of the cuts which took an extra couple hours i just finished this little sequence and i'm kind of sad because i feel like it could be a lot better i can't i can't really do much I, got, I just gotta keep on moving on because i don't have enough time to make the drawings better and do more in between so i need to lock in super super hard tomorrow i'm not even kidding i spent the majority of the day on these two cuts i then immediately started animating the last cut that features sukuna since the charging up of the attack is gonna be a bit long each frame is gonna be fairly spread out making it look less smooth but necessary at this point in order for me to have a chance of finishing this animation i sketched out the rough animation and even made an impact frame for the release and after a long day of animating my second day was coming to an end day two is officially finished i'm nervous i might be able to do it i might not i really hope i can finish it i really do it's all up to me to be honest so i gotta lock in it's truly a beautiful day today too bad i won't get to spend it outside also you see how like my lens is getting foggy it's so humid outside oh my god God, holy shit. All right, so today is June 6th. Today is the last day, 7.26 a.m. I'm gonna have the same breakfast as yesterday. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> It's about to be nine, so it's time to get to work. I started the work day by cleaning up the cut I was working on yesterday. I then added some extra impact frames and some cubes and dust flying everywhere to add more impact to the release. Even though it's not fully realized, the animation ended up looking pretty dope. Okay, so I finished all the Sukuna shots. Now it's time to move on to the Gojo ones. I think it's actually looking pretty good. It's only 11 right now, so I still have a long time, but I still have to make all the backgrounds and paint them in, and that takes a really long time, so I need to keep on working and i have to do a crazy like rotation shot so that one i might not be able to finish but i'm gonna try my best regardless i then went on to draw gojo as majestically as i could then i animated his hair waving from the wind and then his clothing bro actually looks like he's straight out of studio ghibli i don't know if i uh, i don't know if i like that it's 1 p.m so i only have eight hours left the shot that i was mostly scared of was up next i didn't know how the heck i was gonna pull this off in time till i remembered i had made a really crappy environment in blender so I opened that up, downloaded some basic rig of a human being, placed them on the rock, and roughly animated the camera the way I envisioned it. Then I imported the video onto Clip Studio Paint and used it as a guide to know where everything should be. The thing is, my camera animation in Blender is extremely rough and was a lot longer than what I had anticipated. So I skipped around the video to draw only the keyframes I would need to make this cut work. The more I drew, the more depressed I grew. Ooh, bars. It was truly starting to look hopeless. This is so sad. I actually have like no time to make this good. Like everything is so off. There's nothing I could do, man. This is actually so sad. 3 p.m. eventually came around, meaning that it was lunch break time. For my last meal, I got myself some Chipotle. Let's see if they actually hooked me up. When you order Chipotle online, they barely 
give you any food. But it looks like um pretty good. Not bad. I then went on to do the cleanup, which took a lot of time. But this workload and this annoying due date was also starting to take my soul. This is so much work, man. This is so much work. And to think this is like a fraction of what MAPPA animators go through every single day. And I'm already like ready to finish this and never look back and just be done with this. But this is some people's job. Like it's actually insane. I have no idea how they do it every single day. I'm struggling just like trying to finish this one animation. And like, yeah, I have a due date but like i don't have the pressure to do it because i don't have a contract with like a company and whatnot also i'm doing this at the comfort of my own home the fact that there's such low pay in the japanese anime industry i would find it very difficult to keep myself all together <laughs> then i colored in every frame and added a little bit of shading next i animated purple which looked like an actual piece of donkey shit but as time was running out i finished cut six okay i pretty much finished this shot it doesn't look that bad but it is 6 30 i got another cut left then i gotta draw all the backgrounds and then i gotta composite everything so i still got a lot to do i ended up skipping cut one and cut 10 entirely due to how much time i had left and went directly to drawing all of the backgrounds which ended up looking extremely rough i just drew some of the backgrounds like pretty fast so i'm gonna start exporting everything and put everything in after effects for compositing the other two shots that i have left that i haven't animated yet aren't 100 necessary so if i'm not gonna be able to complete the animation at least i'll have something where you could watch it and not be confused so that's what I'm gonna do right now and if I have time to do the other shots I'll do them this is probably the saddest part of this project because if the backgrounds had been better and more detailed every shot could have looked astronomically better I didn't have much to work with in terms of backgrounds for compositing I only drew one long background and a couple of middle grounds so I kept on reusing these assets over and over again at this point in time I kept on looking at the clock and the lack of time made me work faster but also messier which led to some of the shots not looking all that great and unfinished I tried my best to make everything in the composition look as consistent as possible i attempted to work miracles with the limited amount of backgrounds i had made and even though it looks super shitty it sort of gets the job done as the clock was reaching nine i actually quickly went back and animated cut one which i had skipped earlier the animation would have been weird if it started with sukuna smiling and then gojo smiling back it could give people the wrong idea you know what i'm saying i went 15 minutes over time but after 36 hours of work in only three days this is the final product only 16 seconds of animation this is how it is for mappa animators every single day my goal for this video was to show why some of the cuts in your favorite anime look a bit unfinished and unrealized and that's because a lot of the times they are sometimes the deadlines are extremely unrealistic and it's due to the horrible work schedules and abusive work conditions a lot of animators face mappa animators have expressed their frustrations obviously feeling upset that they weren't able to deliver their best work due to these terrible deadlines and now i can sort of share that feeling it's sad to not be able to make something you're proud of and have thousands of people dogpile on you and call you worthless but that's the anime industry and anime fans for you if you want to watch me suffer further you can watch the video that's up on the screen right now where i animated the world's most offensive manga in only three days